It's proof time again, 3 a.m. in the recording studio. And as always, this is entirely optional. This goes way beyond what would ever be taught in an introductory statistics class. So it's only for those who love hard proof challenges. And as previously, we're going to prove the correctness of the maximum likelihood estimator, MLE, but this time for Gaussians. So our xi's can now be arbitrary values, not just zeros or ones. And the mean and the variance are computed using these two now familiar formula. So how can we prove this to be correct? Again, last chance to skip. So as before, there's uh, the proof on the left side with a couple of blanks, five in total, and there's seven expressions you can put in. And the way you put them in is if for example, the seventh expression, in your opinion, fits over here. You put the number seven in here. You only use each expression on the right side once, and there's obviously more expressions on the right side than there are holes on the left side. Let me quickly go over the proof. In maximizing the probability of the data, we first state the probability of these data items. And that's done over here using a normal distribution with parameters mu and sigma square, but they left something unknown on the left that you have to pick from the right side. Then we take the logarithm of this, and here's the logarithm with two gaps inside. We take the first derivative of the logarithm that you have to compute by picking the appropriate term on the right and set it to zero, which is where the maximum is attained. From that, we can transform the expression to this expression over here, where I left out a term, and that finally gives you the desired proof for the maximum likely estimator for the mean. Good luck.